King tide has made its way back to Southern California with wave sets topping seven feet. Coastal areas are watching out for potential flooding, but environmentalists say it could be worse if not for our local wetlands. Meteorologist Sean Stiles is live along the San Diego River in the Midway area to explain in tonight's Earth 8 report. Sean? Well, Carlo Barber Lee, these wetlands and low-lying areas that act as a buffer are right here over my shoulder, the San Diego River is one of them. This morning, this thing looked like a river from sh shoreline to shoreline. This evening, that tide has dropped out. But these wetlands protect our coastline from more than just high tides. This is a time lapse of the Kendall Frost Mission Bay Marsh during the King Tide in December, much like the 7.3 high tide today. Wetlands are a, a critical component of um, protecting our uh, coastal infrastructure. They're also helpful during storm events. Because they're mostly a lot of broad, flat plains, they absorb a lot of that tidal energy that comes in. A lot of the wave energy gets absorbed uh, by the wetlands. Here in San Diego, we've saved some of our wetlands, but that's not the case in much of California. With 90% of California's coastal wetlands uh, being developed, just the fact that we have a dozen or so wetlands here and lagoons really is a benefit to our community. We asked Pritchard to name a few wetlands here in San Diego. The Tijuana River Valley, Famosa Slough, Kendall Frost Marsh, Los Penasquitos Lagoon, the wetlands near San Luis Rey River, Buena Vista Lagoon. They also act as filters from storm runoff. As the waters are coming in from inland and they filter through that wetland before they reach the ocean, it gives the plants in there a chance to absorb all those fertilizers before they get to the ocean. But when it comes to helping protect a coastline, there's no better example of an opportunity lost than Hurricane Katrina and Sandy. Big reason why that those hurricane forces impacted those communities so much is because they didn't have that buffering capability left anymore from the wetlands that they developed over. Travis believes it's easier to save what you have than to fix what's broken. It's much cheaper to preserve your wetlands than to develop over them have a whole community destroyed and then have to buy them back to, to recreate them. So during these king tides, we have the extreme high tide, the extreme low tide, which is a great time to do some tide pooling around San Diego in the afternoon. Just remember, you can't take any of those little creatures you see in the tide pools. And we've got another uh, set of king tides coming later on in February. Back to you in the desk. All right, thanks, Sean. Not only are our wetlands protecting our coastlines, but they're also providing habitat for local birds and migratory birds coming to San Diego from other parts of the world.